Hello, hello everyone, Daisha Hao. Welcome back to my vow to my leash. Now last time, oh my goodness, so much drama happened. Uh, someone, I believe, is maybe or may not be dead. And that's a little saddening, because he was kind of hot. <laughs> so last time... What else happened? We found the princess of a, not necessarily a rival kingdom, but a kingdom that we're supposed to go into an agreement with, I think. And we're supposed to marry that princess and we found her, but she has an extremely bad curse. So let's see if we can figure out how to take care of that. A thin layer of mist covers the surface of the water as a faint golden light shimmers on its surface. The morning air is a little cold, but very refreshing. Today's weather is the perfect weather for us to set off on our trip. Why is it taking so long? Seems like our boy is okay. Seems to be okay. That's good. Whew. Fine. Just make sure to speed the boat up once we pass the Shu River. So, last time we found out that he found someone specifically for us, because we're like friends and we're going to that doctor to help the girl hopefully things turn out okay i turn to look at xiao jing she seems withered and dry her complexion has darkened a lot a result of her inability to eat or drink even shandan could do nothing about it if it weren't for the jade fish amulet that i carry everywhere with me she might not be able to hold out for another day the most ominous thing is that she is still clutching that dagger with monstrous strength. That's good. Xi Shi, do you know anything about his background? Hmm. Oh dang. Interesting, interesting. So that's how it is. Dancing 只可惜几年前与人斗法后惨遭灭门。It did. It very much did. Dot dot dot. Very sad thing to happen. We know about that. But we were unaware of any survivors. 虽然以上都是最准的推测,但亦是敢冒险向大王推荐西施的原因。大王连日奔波,气死不佳。到处罗村之后,也可请西施为您看看。Uh, that, that is very kind of you. Thank you. <laughs> Good work, King of You. Aww. I love him. Uh, these two boys, I love them. I don't know if I could choose. I don't know. A silence settles over the cabin. Chen Feng crosses his arms and stares at Guo Jian. This makes Guo Jian uncomfortable. So I... Oh no! Uh... What should we choose? Probably this one... I don't know, either way, e either character we get, I don't mind. Um... If I decide to rest in silence, not much is gonna change. Because he doesn't have any ill intentions for him. It's um, the Prime Minister that does. 
Um, let's just let's just rest in peace. <laughs> I don't mind the silence, but the fact that Xiao Jian is on the cusp of death, the future of Nung Chi being on the rocks, and now this mysterious miracle doctor with the surname Xu, there's quite a lot of things to worry over. The trivial matters between two grown men, two grown men are too petty for me to get myself involved in. Feeling awkward, Guo Jian makes a few uh, polite remarks before excusing himself from the cabin. Aw, bye baby. Don't treat him like some common criminal. At the end of the day, he is also a legitimate king of a kingdom. I don't know if he is to be trusted or not. Oh. Dot dot dot, don't mention his name! <laughs> There's no way that anyone could have survived the incident at Sword Pond. He could be a disciple of the Shu clan that has been away, or an impersonator. Oh, my heart. I love this boy. We are only human. Although he carried with him the loss of his parents, he never once forgot his duty. While I was not even able to convince my own father not to do such a cruel thing, I have failed to Yiguan. Chen Feng raises his hand but hesitates midway and fails to place it on his shoulder. <laughs> that awkward, like... Ah, I don't know about it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Chen Feng. I nod my head. In the past, I needed to sleep for a few days to recover from an attack. This time, I don't have the opportunity to. If it weren't for the Jade Fish, I probably would not even be able to move. I step out of Xiao Jian's cabin for a breather on the bow of the ship. Although my jade fish is protecting me from the effects of the curse, my chest still feels uncomfortable with the negative air around the princess. I hesitate just before stepping onto the deck. Oh, look at him! So pretty! God, Go Jian is still there on the boat, or is sitting there on the boat. He looks out into the distance where the water flows. His lonely figure stands out from the busy scene of boats and boats coming and going around us. Ah. I swallow the words that I am about to say. Ever since he begged me for mercy, he has stopped being Adzie, like a beautiful and fragile piece of glass. Once it shatters, it can never be glued back to how it once looked. What's more, should he step out of line, I will need to... kill him. With a heavy heart, I go back into the cabin. Oh, oh, that's a little saddening. I wanted to talk to him a little bit. Ooh. <laughs> That spooked me. <laughs> that spooked me greatly. My chest is hurting very badly. It's happening again, and seems far too soon. The previous attacker, uh, the previous attack occurred only a few days ago. I cannot let myself be defeated now. I still have things to do. <sighs> oh. Dot dot dot, the beautiful music is back, the beautiful music is back! Once again, I see a big white fish swim towards me, out from the darkness. Its scales emit a bright glow, and in that brightness, a youth appears before me, smiling. He says, Don't be afraid. In my agony, Reach out to him. Yikuan? Ah, I 
and we're back to the normal world. Dang. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Seems like there's a storm. It was just a nightmare. Chen Feng. Oh. Oh, shoot, there's swords in the background. I hear a noise and call out for my guard as I rush out of the cabin. Excuse me? Whoa! Just as I open the door, a black feathered arrow flies right past me and launches itself into the door. Chaos meets me at the bow. In the storm, I can barely pick out Chen Feng and Guo, uh, Guo Jiang. They are leading the guards who are disguised as crew members in a fight against a group of attacker, attackers dressed in black. The attackers are the followers of the Dragon God. I draw my sword and rush to Shao Jiang's cabin. There's something odd about the incident at Tiger Hill. I'm afraid that they may have come for Shao Jiang. No, we must, we must protect her. Indeed. Her bed is empty. As I look around, I see a trail of water droplets that lead from the bed to the outside of her door. With the fighting at the bow, there should be no guards at the stern. I grit my teeth as I rush to the stern of the boat. You let your filthy paws off her! At the stern, two followers of the Dragon God hold on to Xiao Zhan as they prepare to jump into an approaching bamboo boat. Oh, heck no! I raise my sword and rush at them. I manage to injure one of the two men, and he gives a yelp as he falls. The followers of the Dragon Guard are magicians. They are helpless when pinned against an ordinary swordsman who has trained a long time like me. I take this chance to rush to Xiao Jiang, but the other person uses her as a shield and viciously kicks me right in the chest where the sacred seal rests. Ouch. They managed to steal away Xiao Jiang. Then everything that we have done, then everything we have done up until now would have been all for naught. Ah, Jiang. No. Don't think so. I use my remaining strength to rush at them as they escape and manage to grab a hold of their legs. The two men land on the deck with a bang as Xiao Jiang slips out of their grip and into the water. I watch that Xiao Jiang disappear beneath the fast flowing waters. Without a second thought, I dive in after her and barely manage to catch her in my arms. Oh dang. We're back into the water. The impact of me hitting the water causes me to black out for a moment. And I come to what and I come to while struggling against the current, but my limbs are no longer obeying me. I must fight for control. The water and the girl in my arms are both colder than ice. Dot dot dot. What's this glow? What's this glow? In the dimness of my consciousness. I can see that big, pale fish again. Lee! Is this a dream? Is this reality? Who is calling out to me? Dot dot dot. A blurry figure approaches me with open arms. Who is it? Who grabbed us? Who grabbed us? My chest hurts so badly. In my pain, I reach for my chest, but my arms will not move. Someone is weighing down my arms. A person with a sickly, dehydrated complexion, like a dry twig. Xiao Jiang. My blurry thoughts are clear now. I quickly raise a finger to her nose to see. She's still breathing. Don't come over. I hope it's not them. I want to call out, but I see the men in black and know that they are not m men from the royal. Er, they are not my men from the royal guards. Those damnable followers of the dragon god. 
Since they are near, I can only carry Xiaotian quietly into the water where there is some tall grass behind a tree. Oh, shoot. No, you don't. Ah, no, you don't. <laughs> Dang, follower B, don't you dare. Suddenly, there is a disturbance as a patch of tall grass starts to sway. I then see a black spear hit the water, and it misses me by a hair's breadth. Grabbing Xiao Jiang by the wrist, I try to move away from the spear without making too much movement. You got this, you got this. The Dragon God's followers keep throwing his spear into the water and almost hits me a few times. After a few minutes, my body runs out of oxygen and I cannot help but release a few bubbles. Oh no, that person better have left. <laughs> What? Oh. <gasps> coincidence? Was this a was this a coincidence? Oh, go to go. Oh. oh thank goodness he didn't see. Oh thank goodness. <sighs> Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. <gasps> I carry Xiao Jiang out of the water, but before I can catch my breath, a pair of hands cover my mouth and drag us out of the tall grass. <gasps> right. I'll be quiet. I stare at him in surprise. So it was he who threw the stone that distracted the followers. Go Jiang glances at Xiao Jiang, who is still laying in my arms, then points to a large log that has fallen into the water. There in the rotting log is a big hole. We hurry to the log and hide in it together with Xiao Jiang. Oh dang. <laughs> Nothing, it's nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> that <laughs> was funny. Half a day. Oof. Oh, dang. Thank you. Where are we? Oh, I should have said something earlier. I should have said something. Poor boy. Followers of the dragon god sure act fast. We're not even out of Ning yet. I'm not doubting anyone. I'm just trying to think of a way to rep a way to prevent their next attack. Stop saying that. <sighs> we have never said that. True, we don't have to be so formal. It's just us. Dot dot dot. You know that I don't mean it. I've never doubted you, Atia. Oof. The way he stares at me makes the words that I want to say stay lodged in my throat. What can I do? I am now the only person who Xiao Tian can rely on. Even the slightest mistake can cause me a lot of pain and problems. He lets out a bitter laugh. Uh, uh, 
because that is very sensitive. I stand there in a stunned silence as I clutch the hem of my clothes, while the expression on my face says, So, it is true. When did you discover that? <laughs> Oof, that little hoomph. I don't know. Um, just now. <laughs> Gao Jiang lets out a snort as he carries Xiao Jiang and walks away from the bank of the river. It is then that I see that the clothes on his back are torn and tattered and covered with blood. Oh shoot, is he okay? Because he was fighting. Is he okay? Was it? Oh, so the Lee was him. Is this a dream? Is this reality? Who's calling out to me? Dot dot dot. A blurry figure approaches me with open arms. It was him. Oh, it was him, baby boy. Ah. Uh. Ah. Why does it do this to me? Did you jump into the water when Xiao Jiang and I fell in? Don't dot 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 me. He walks away wordlessly. Thinking of thinking back. Excuse me, I have a gun. Yeah. Thinking back, there were some sharp rocks at the bottom of the rushing water. Idiot. Atia, wait for me. Oh. Oh dang! I wish I could have seen the whole map again. <laughs> we start a fire to help dry our clothes. After a short break. We hurry along the bank of the river to a bridge that spans the border of Nung and Yue. We plan to cross the bridge that will lead us to Xiaoliao village. Or Xiaoliao village. Xiaoliao? Xi 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 <laughs> Judging by the map that Guo, Guo Jiang drew for us before we left Nung, the safest route would be to go through the border town, where we will meet up with Chen Feng, then take a boat up the river to our destination. Ooh, so many words. However, after hearing that the Dragon God's followers are followers also plan to go to the border town, we decide against it, and instead head straight for our destination. But a more pressing reason for the change is that going to the border town now would add another three to four days to our trip, and I don't think Xiao Jiang will last that long. Guo Jiang does not object to this change in plans. He's probably still angry with me since he hadn't said much on our trip thus far. Our truck drags me uneventfully until the afternoon of the second day of our journey. Goodness gravy, this water's loud. <laughs> Which proves that the saying, when it rains, it pours, is true. As we almost reach the end of our journey, we discover that the bridge has collapsed. How did it... Dang. Ah. Gao Jiang is finally taking the initiative to talk to me again, although he is keeping his head low. I can tell if he is being humble, or I can't tell if he's being humble or he's talk mocking me. Is there not a peer nearby? Dang it. So close. Dot dot dot. Oh, there's people. What if I want to draw my sword? Fine, I'll listen to you. Dot dot dot. Oh, dang, okay. Ashu, Chilio Chuan, do Um, you did apparently. I will meet Jishi Yashu do I. Chuashu Gomuchitalu. Oh, 
等借桥修好了再走。We need to do this to save a life, which is why I'm begging you. Monsters, oh shoot. Uh, I don't wanna. This is true. 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 Go Jiang's back. Although the jade fish amulet is keeping her life hanging by a thread, anyone would be half dead by now if they, like her, could not eat or drink for a few days. Okay. <laughs> we will be on our way. All the dots, dot, dot, dots, dot, 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 dots. Adyang, I'm sorry. I cannot wait any longer. The Wang Fei Fan, Zhu Yi Cheng Guo Zhi Zhong, Zhu Yi Cheng, no one has the right to stop the Wang's Man, you made it sound so, so blank. This is not in order. Go Jung turns around to look at me, and I look back at him with an expression of sincerity as if the words had come from my heart. No matter what becomes of our relationship, I would never be able to put on, put on airs in front of him. I know that the harder I push on, the the burden is for you, but Xiao Jung is getting worse and worse. I know. Xiao Yun is like this. Mm. This boy, this boy, I feel so sad. I feel so sorry for him. He mumbles as he lifts Xiao Jiang higher up on his back, and with a long and with long strides, he starts in the direction of the swamp. I secretly let out a sigh of relief and quicken my pace to catch up with him. The swamp is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Although the waters are not deep, currents from the ri river have made them muddy. The forest canopy casts dark shadows all around us, and it is hard to watch our steps, making it difficult to walk. Surrounded by rotten trees as far as my eyes can see, I am starting to become depressed. Okay. Camp? Here? I'm not afraid. You can't scare me. Oh. What are you doing? Guo Jiang turns around with a snake covered in colorful patterned scales and is as thick as a hemp rope. He takes it and waves it in front of me. Be careful with that! Don't don't play with me like that. <laughs> Saying this, he tosses the snake quite a few quite a ways from us. This man is more like a wild man than the king of than the king of a kingdom. True. Feeling a sense of guilt, I lower my head and stare at my feet. The life of a king who has become a slave is not just fraught with hardships, but it, all, but it is also one filled with loneliness, as there would be no one willing to lend a helping hand. What would it be like for a person who has, ever since birth, led a life of luxury, to, know, to now lead such a miserable life of humiliation? What's more, 
He has not once complained about it to Lee. From the hardships that I've experienced since I began this journey, I think I can understand him a bit better now. Okay. True. True. I'm not... <clears throat> Why is the secret seal hurting at a time like this? <laughs> oh, I felt him go from my right ear to my left ear. Oh, that was creepy. <laughs> oh, literal shivers. Dot, 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 dot. I blink my eyes as my consciousness returns. I realize that if Gojong had been a split second slower, I would have fallen into the mud. I just tripped. I'm fine. I secretly clutched the jade fish at my waist. Although it was only for a brief moment, the bitter animosity that I felt just then makes me tremble. Jeez. It's at just that right frequency of a whisper that I'm like clenching my whole entire body. <laughs> dot 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 dot. Oh frick. <laughs> no, thank you. Get lost. Suddenly, it feels like there is someone grabbing hold of my hand. My eyes widen to find Gao Jiang at my side. I'm fine. Chang Shaman Chang, you should have rested. Oh, baby. Without another word, Go Jung pulls me under a big tree. I cannot refuse him when he is so insistent about it. The floating island that he has us sitting on makes me a little anxious. The ground shifts a little, but does not sink. I open my palm without thinking. It is covered in traces of blood that have taken the shapes of the amulet. Oh dang, we were clutching that hard. Maybe. <laughs> he frowns as he treats my wounds. I watch him bend over my injury and am reminded of our incident days when we were just Lee and Adya. Those were the days when our troubles were as far away from us as the clouds in the sky. They were such beautiful, but short-lived days. That'd be nice. I'm reminded of the voice just now and shake my head. I've heard all over, so I don't think I'll be able to fall asleep. Let's just chat. Aww. Because it's doing. Because it's doing its job and is protecting me. <laughs> A friend gave it to me when we were children. It was his clan token, and can drive out evil. <laughs> Maybe. Shortly after giving me this jade amulet, he passed away. To this day, I don't know if he died for Nung, or for me. As a king, the country and people Oof. True. That is what it means to be a king. Because <sighs> I just can't wait to be king. <laughs> Sorry. 
<laughs> I don't know why that popped into my head. <laughs> I'm afraid that I haven't performed well. I mean, it's kind of a given. Dot dot dot. Yeah. I have no idea. Oh. Yes. Mei Xiang. Xiang. And the previous head priest of Nung had intended to unify the Dragon God's followers in an attempt to take over the throne. So he had all of the traitor six executed. I have a twitch in my eye. Go away, twitch. It's hard to read with you. Eh. There we go. Dot dot dot. Yeah. <sighs> I am shocked. I never thought that he would have suspected me for so long. Maybe too close. The way he said that. Yeah. What was it? Shime? No, that was a uh, younger sister. No, was it? No. Ah, I don't remember. <laughs> Meme, <laughs> just Meme. Got a lot of friends. Do you really think so? <gasps> that I managed the kingdom of Nung very well. Really? <laughs> 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 I kind of want this. Two kings. Two steadfast kings together. Why did you not expose my identity as a girl? <laughs> my heart! <laughs> Similar. True. Dot dot dot. I'll can take con I'll take control of it on my own. I think I'm going for this man. But I'm not Oh, I'm stunned. Guo Jiang gazes up at the sky that is half covered by trees. The expression in his eyes dazzles me, and I cannot look away. What do you plan on taking control of your destiny? It is your destiny! Oh. Oh, I love this boy. Hearing him say that, I see myself struggling for my life under those big dragon claws as I let out a long, blood curdling scream. Oh, shoot. Is that like just now, or was that in your head? What's going on? In that instant, I finally understand why Gao Jiang and I are so similar. We have both tasted the pain of loss too many times to allow our fates to control us, to not struggle against its oppression, to take control of my destiny. Dot dot dot. Gao Jiang, do you want to return to Yue? 
Guo Jiang whips his head around to look at me with bright eyes. We stare at each other for quite a while before he finally nods his head. <laughs> Baby! I can punish you for treason for what you just said. You could have you could have said that without that second that second couple words. Then why haven't you done so? Oh my goodness, I love this man. Baby. He said, Lee, not Fu Chai, or your majesty. But, Lee. Dot, dot, dot. Fine. Once we have cured Xiao Jing, we'll allow you return to Yue. Go Jiang wears an expression of disbelief. With eyes open wide, he quickly kneels down and prostrates himself before me. In the swamp? Ooh, that's not a good idea, good sir. Oh. Stop. Don't think me so hastily. There will be conditions that you must agree to before you can return. The countries north of the river have always despised yet feared Ning. War will break out sooner or later. Although the kingdom of Chu has been heavily destroyed, its foundations still stand. It is only a matter of time before they retaliate against Ning. You must manage the kingdom of Yue well so that Ning may have another ally. You may regret the decision that I have made today, but... I most definitely understand you. Adieu. I want you to take control of your own destiny. Go Jung stares at me with his mouth wide open, then finally kneels down once more and bows before me. The pain in my chest slowly fades, and I cannot help but smile. This is a gamble. Who is to say that I don't have choices? That I won't be able to take control of my destiny, of my own destiny. Enough. Kneeling and bowing here on this barren and untamed mountain is pretty foolish. Now get up. I know I'm right. We look at each other and burst out laughing. Oh, how couldn't. Oh, my goodness, that was creepy. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, dot, dot. That was scary. Oh, I was not expecting that. And then, like, the little snake. Ugh. I think I hear a strange noise. As I turned around, something smelling of rotten flesh flies at my face. I instinctively reach out and grab it. <laughs> Nick. I throw the snake down as hard as I can. It is then, as it riles non-stop, that I notice that it is black and about two feet long. Oh shoot. It cannot be... Ah, uh, as I draw my sword, several black snakes spring out of the water and come at us like black arrows. With my sword in hand, I can smell the putrid stink of snake blood that seems to penetrate all around me. These snakes are far bigger than the ones that first attacked me. If any one of them were to wrap their bodies around us, we would be in serious danger. <laughs> 
It's like a hydra. The strange noise I hear seems to be getting louder and louder. It takes a quick glance behind me, or I take a quick glance behind me and see hundreds of the black snakes slithering on the trees and rotten logs that barely stay afloat due to their weight. From a distance, it looks as if the swamp is boiling. You got it! Gaojiang throws Xiaojiang over his shoulders and grabs my hand as we flee the floating island. Do you know which direction we need to go? Ah, oh, heck. The bottom of the swamp is very soft, and we seem to sink deeper into the ground with each step as we take. Uh, with each step that we take, we would have been too tired to move if it hadn't been for our short reprieve, although we are not much better off now for it. Duck! I slash at a snake that is as thick as a child's thigh. Mud and snake blood splash onto my face. Ew. But I have no time to wipe it off. With a backslash, I yet kill yet another enemy of unknown origin. Go Jung seems to be in no better shape than I. A black sneak falls onto his shoulders, and that nearly causes him to slip into the water. You don't say so. Would a normal snake or would normal snakes gather like this to kill us? I do not like that. I do not like that one bit. We are unable to take a break due to this mountain of snakes. Mountain these nuts. <laughs> I've been waiting for a chance to say that. After killing an endless number of snakes, the trees thin out some, and I can finally see some ground than just the floating island. Something isn't right. Can you feel it? Oh, heck no. Are they planning a frontal attack? Probably. Knowing the monsters, yes. My legs shake a little. I squint my eyes to better see where the snakes are congregating and notice a dark clump of bush that seems to grow taller and clearer the closer I get. Are they merging? Once I see its smooth, slippery belly more clearly, a black python that is a few hundred feet long comes charging right at us. Oh, shoot. Wah! Gojang pushes me away, and with one slash, she gives the python a horizontal gash to its belly. Unexpectedly, the giant python doesn't bleed from the cut. Ugh. It's... Its belly catches even more huge snakes. There are a countless number of black snakes wriggling in its belly as the wound closes before our very eyes like it had never been wounded in the first place. This unnatural scene is making our hair stand on end. We look past the snake to see a few figures in black standing on higher ground, playing a strange and accursed song. Of course! Of course! Their bodies emanate a black smooth, uh, a black smoke-like aura that seems to follow the eerie chant as it enters the giant black python. How dare they! Let's cut off the snake's head! Before finishing his sentence, he flings Xiaojiang at me and rushes at the giant python with a slash. Please don't die! I tighten my hold on Xiaojiang as I grit my teeth and run in the other direction. Neither of us can defeat such a strange monster. Our only way to win is to rid it of its source, the Dragon God's followers. Ajiang, uh, Ajia must have also thought of this, which is why he is trying to bait the snake. If I were to worry about him and turn back, I would be betraying his trust in me. We are already at the edge of the swamp. All we need is this last ditch effort. Suddenly, a person in black lets out a strange scream. Oh no, please don't. Go Xiang's ex exclamation shocks me, and I turn around. The swamp floor starts to bubble as hundreds of black snakes leap up. In the blink of an eye, they join together with a giant python and begin charging straight at me. Oh, frick. I'm trying, I'm trying! The giant python comes at me like the wind, and there's no time for me to make an escape. 
Give me a sec. A strong sense of disat is disfat yeah. Dissatisfaction rises within me, and my tired body suddenly perks up with energy. With one thrust, I stab my sword into the pitch black belly of the python. If only I had this kind of courage when I was facing that giant white beast five years ago. I'll take control of my destiny! Oh shoot. I cut open the belly of the python with my sword, and it gives a howl of anger. It then opens its mouth wide, mouth wide, and rushes at me. Oh! Suddenly, hundreds of swords rise from the water around me and pierce through the giant python. With just one attack, the water swords manage to shred the monster into thousands of pieces. Is it handsome, man? Splatters of mud fly onto my face as I stand there in a daze. Was that snake monster made out of mud? And what were these what were those swords of water? Oh. Well, hello there, handsome. Like an unstoppable tornado, water swords fly majestically through the tide through the sky towards the giant snake, which is attacking Gao Jiang. A mesmerizing figure in white dances gracefully. His sword strokes are so fast that they look like flashes of lightning. His long sleeves sway like the long tail of that big, beautiful fish that frequents my dreams. It all seems so unbelievable against the tragic backdrop of mud and blood. My vision starts to blur from the sprays of water and mud as I watch the giant snake get cut into thousands of pieces by the water swords. The followers let out wretched screams before falling dead as their evil souls leave their bodies. Dot dot dot. We are saved. My body goes limp like a ball falling from midair, and I tumble to the ground. But I stare forlornly at forlornly at the figure in white as I am overcome with a feeling of familiarity. He is clearly... Hello. <laughs> you are very pretty. <laughs> Go Jung rushes to my side, but a pair of strong and fair hands are one step ahead of him. They gently pick me up into their embrace. With the problem solved, a long, forgotten feeling of security overcomes me as my consciousness slowly fades. Someone sighs softly in my ear. Chapter 4 He knows us. Is it him? And also the beautiful music is back. That priest has already informed me of the dangers. Since you're not afraid, I need to be just as brave as you. I'm gonna up the music a little bit. Because it's just so freaking beautiful. Isn't this the Jade fin Fish Amulet that never leaves your side? Mm. Isn't that supposed to be given to your future yin fish as a token of love? Why are you giving it to me? It has multiple times. Then, that's all the more reason why I should not take it. What will happen if your powers aren't enough when you are alone on Tiger Hill? Dot dot dot. 
就当是安我的心。等秋季结束后，你再还我，好不好？哦、oh.。Since you feel that way, fine. 今之所愿，唯望你能平安。Oh, my heart. Sunlight. After a few days of continuous rain and gloomy skies, the warm and gentle sunlight is especially comforting. If only it wasn't so bright. Wait, where am I? I tumble out of bed and look around. It seems that I am alone in a simple, tidy wooden hut. The smell of a medical, the smell of medical, oh medicinal, the smell of medicinal herbs hangs in the air. I find that all my wounds have already been treated. And even my usual ailments are not giving me as much pain as they normally do. I take in my surroundings with suspicion. I cannot find my sword. Left with no choice, I pick up a stick that is lying next to the door and give it a few practice swings. Good. This should be helpful. Wait a minute. Where's Atya and Xiaojing? Hey, Xiao Ge, you're awake. Hello, hello, ma'am. A plainly dressed village woman appears. She puts down her broom and comes to greet me warmly. You're definitely hungry. Auntie made you some soup. You go back and rest up, huh? Oh, the tone of her voice is so nice. It's so motherly. Wait a minute, Mrs. I suddenly feel something holding me back. Looking down, I see that I am surrounded by the village children. They eye me with curiosity. Go, go, go! Put the people down. Don't give them the food next time. The gentleman. Who is the gentleman? Who is the gentleman? Is it the one who saved us? The village children disperse like a school of small fish and laugh as they run away. I put down my stick awkwardly. Mrs. Can you please tell me where I am? This is Zhulu Village. Zhulu, Zhulu Village. Is there a doctor by the name of Shi 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 here? <laughs> 小哥，这就是西子的家呀。啊、Hello, Cora. It's okay. We're already on the uh. Fourth chapter, so it's all good. And also, what you what you cooking? What what's cooking? What's cooking? Good looking. <laughs> I look around the area to see a simple and clean courtyard surrounded by a few wooden huts. In the middle of the courtyard lay a few bamboo sheaves. She she sheaves. On them are strange plants, and insects that were left out to dry. This really does look like the residence of a doctor. Mini spam musubi. I don't know what that is, but spam, yummy. Did you save some for me? Eh? <laughs> the village woman continues to explain. You two were taken from the doctor from the doctor. The head had been hurt. She slept for several days. The doctor had been taken away. 你们遇到了先生，运气真是好的不得了。啊、oh, ，heck yeah. Spam sushi basically, and there's plenty for you. Ah,、oh, heck yeah. Oh, I've never had that before. That sounds good. Oh, thank you, thank you for saving me some. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> That's true. Do you know where the two people who were with me are, Mrs. Do you know where the two people who are with me are, Miss? Have you seen them? That's 当然了 I got a message. Okay, there we go. I actually have something after this. 
The village woman takes out a piece of cloth from her pocket and hands it to me. Ah, come on! <sighs> Anxiously, I unfold the cloth. On it is a message from Go Jiang. Li, I'm going to the border town to look for the others. Please trust me and wait here for me. Ah, Jiang. Uh, that girl, I don't know. Oh, have you eaten it yet, Cora? Have you eaten the spam, uh, the spam mushibi, mush, mushubi yet? Is it good? The village woman brings me to a hut and takes out a bunch of keys. This poor,穷乡僻壤的，倒也不是防贼，主要是怕村里那些小毛头不懂事，不是故意把人锁起来的。Oh, okay, so she's awake. Yes, it's so good. It's so good. Oh, nami. Or yummy. Just missing the nori. Oh, you don't have th That's weird because I have um nori snacks. <laughs> sea salted nori. <laughs> also, I did not realize how much it tasted like popcorn. Uh the specific brand I got of sea salt nori kinda tastes like popcorn without the annoying kernel bits. Cause like I, I don't like popcorn in the matter of it, you know. The kernels getting stuck in your bits, it, it, or in your teeth, like the little bits. It, bleh. So like, having this alternate of Nori is kind of nice. Dang, I wish I could like pass some through you to the screen, just shove. <laughs> she unlocks the door while apologizing to me. Oh, Jesus! what the heck? What's with all these? Is it a spy drama now? It is dark in the hut. And after my eyes adjust to the darkness, I'm greeted with a shocking sight. If only, if only I could give it to you, just... <laughs> Xiao Jiang seems to be floating in midair. Her arms, which had been curled tightly in front of her, are now lying by her sides. Oh, I guess she isn't okay. Oh man, this word again. I hate this word. I hate this word. It's so hard to pronounce. The ominous dagger that she had been holding is also suspended in midair, and is now dangling tipped down directly over her heart. Oh, that's not good. There better not be a spider. I don't think it's a spider. I think it's string. I think it's just normal string of, like, protection, maybe. If it falls out, uh, if if this, my goodness, if it falls but a few inches, it will pierce her heart. There's a bird engraved on the dagger with gems for eyes, and they gleam sinisterly. It feels like it is trying to read my mind. Okay, yeah, don't don't worry. I got you. I got you. The village woman suddenly pulls me back as I am about to take a step in. She has a lot of strength for someone so petite. Her one yang forces me to take a few steps backwards. <laughs> See, I told you it was just strings. You're okay. Strings. It is then that I notice something shiny as it reflects the light coming in through the door. It is one of the many strands of silver string that are tightly strung all over the hut. It is also these silver strings that are holding up the girl and the dagger, making them look like they are floating in midair upon first glance. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry, Cora. Oh dang. Don't don't worry. Also, for the thing that I have after this, because as soon as I'm done with this, uh, I'm gonna be heading out to a little event thingy. So Cora, ahead of time. Um, I am going to be drinking, so I might postpone tomorrow's stream. I might. But it is going to happen. Don't worry. It is going to happen. I want I want to do that with you. I just don't know if I'm going to be okay after tonight. So just pre-warning. Just pre-warning. I'm doing the eye thing. Just pre-warning. Just in case. Well, that's okay if it happens. Okay. But I do want to do that. I can't wait. I, I can't wait to work on your boy with you. <laughs> Saying this... The village woman locks the doors and hands the keys over to me with a smile. 
等你看过了之后，就把钥匙给你。你想看随便看，就是千万别再踩进去了。Dang, he has a lot of trust in me. Thank you, Mrs. And where's Mr. Shishi? If you have to cancel too, that's cool too. Your health is most... No, 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 no. No. No, I will not cancel. I will not cancel because it's just drinking. I just don't know if I'll have like a hangover strong enough that I'll have to wait a couple hours or not. I'm pretty good on not getting hangovers. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. So, everything should be fine and streamlined. I just wanted to put it up there. Just in case. Don't worry. <laughs> but I will not cancel. I do not want to cancel. Especially since it's Sunday. Because I know you don't have work on Sunday. So, I want to do that with you. I want to. Washing some herbs. Some herbal medicine. Thank you. After thanking the village woman, I turn around and run out of the courtyard. Wait, you gave me soup? When was that? Is it because I feel well rested, or because the medicine he gave me was so efficient that my body feels light, feels as light as a feather? It has been many years since I, excuse me, since I felt this way. Even my heart feels like it was soaring. The footpath goes downhill, and I can already smell the faint scent of water. Handsome man. Dot dot dot. You missed it. He saved us. Suddenly, a thought crosses my mind. I slow down my pace. My life starts to flash before my eyes as if it were if as if I were on the brink of death. Everything that happened in my past feels so sur feels so unreal. Oh my goodness, I can't speak. Let me let me grab a quick thing of water real quick. Ah, there we go. Okay. Although I cannot deny that we were indeed saved by a man named Kushi. Or K Kushi? Kushi? Ah, it's so hard. Those ones always give me problems. <laughs> Visions of a man dressed in white while standing amid that black swampy water come, come to mind. I cover my mouth in amazement. It's not possible. This must be the illusion that one has before they die. Ever since the nightmares about what happened at Lake Tai began, the image of that person keeps appearing in my mind. That must be why I'm seeing a vision of him as my rescuer. Also, oh, it could be, oh, it could be a uh, Yi Guang who gave us the fish amulet. Uh. That must be it. So it turns out he's actually alive. After all, when I went to the Sword Pond five, five years ago and saw the place filled with dead bodies, among them was... Was it? As I try to piece the past events together in my mind, I become more and more confused as to what really happened. Amid the chaos in my mind, one assumption seems clear. If only that person were alive. Dot dot dot. I run like the wind to the riverside. Next to an old tree that is half submerged in water, I see a familiar figure with his back turned towards me, his head lowered. He's staring at two mounds of dirt that are under a tree. I hold my breath and slow down my pace as my vision begins to blur. In front of me is a man with hair fluttering lightly in the breeze. He carries with him an air of gentle dignity, just like my childhood dreams which have disappeared and have never returned. Handsome man. Oh my goodness, he has the same colors as me. Only he doesn't have any gold accents. Oh my goodness. Especially with the new concept that I have. It, <laughs> yeah, oh, hi there, sexy man. <laughs> the man turns around and faces me with a warm smile. <laughs> Simp mode, activate. 
a refreshing breeze blows from the direction of the river, and all the hardships that I've faced these past five years seem to disappear in it. The only thing I can remember is our final moments together, and Yi Guan's beautiful and gentle smile. Today, I finally see for myself that pair of calm, bright eyes, a thin, fair village man. Although I have changed since then, he is still as perfect as the day we first met. If this is a dream, please don't wake me up. Oh, he's so cute. Dot, dot, dot. Awkward silence, indeed. Dot, dot, dot. You gonna freaking explain yourself? <sighs> you said it. Dream forever of this cutie. Yes. Oh, man. He's our old... He's our old friend. Why didn't I realize it by the names? I'm, I am dumb. I am dumb. I didn't realize it. Oh my goodness. When I looked at the character cards, I should have realized that it... Oh my god. Now we have a third contender. Originally, I thought I would go for a Cheng Feng, but then I started going for a Gao Jiang, and... Now that I know that this guy is our old, old childhood friend who gave us basically a promise ring, but as the f jadefish amulet, oh my goodness. He's giving me Ayame vibes with that look of his. It's sweet himbo. <laughs> oh, it's okay, sweet himbo. <laughs> Gosh dang it. <laughs> goodness gravy. Oh my goodness. I don't... He already gave us a promise thingy. Oh my goodness, I don't know. I don't, you missed it earlier because uh, Gao Jiang was basically like, I feel like we're connected. You're you're the same, you and I. We're both going through different challenges as kings. And I was like, oh my goodness, we're going through this like cute little trek. Oh my goodness, I can see the story unfolding. We could go for him. And now this guy showed up and I'm like, well, frick that. <laughs> goodness gravy. Yi Guan opens his arms as he teases me, welcoming me like he did in our youth and making me feel like I had never left his side. I choke on my emotions as I punch his chest with all my might. Oh, my heart. My heart. I thought, I thought you had died. Unable to control myself, I burst into tears. Oh. Lost in my anger, the turbulence of many mixed emotions turns into a violent storm within my heart. Suddenly, I am taken back five years ago to the bloody event that happened at Lake Tai. Seeing the ground at the sword pond covered with fresh blood and corpses, I had torn my vocal cords with an ear piercing scream. Yeah, he's a cutie. Yeah, he's a freaking cutie. He oh. Like, that little punch in him going, whoa, was kind of like, that kind of got me. I'm, uh, uh, that kind of got me. Oh, no, cry. We cry. We cry in this house. After seeing a friend who we thought was dead and turns out to be alive, we cry in this house. I had once thought that killing the dragon god would be well worth the sacrifice, but little did I know that the price would be so heavy. To secure the spirit of the dragon god, my father had reinforced the sword pond by cruelly sacrificing all the people in the Shu clan. <gasps> Jerk! I didn't know our father did that! What? When I had rummaged through the mountains of mountain of corpses like a madman searching for Yi Guang's remains, I felt like I, too, had died. Dang. Why did I survive? Dot dot dot. Dot 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 dot. Dot dot dot. Sorry. Sorry. So sorry. 
。为什么要道歉 ？I couldn't get to Tiger Hill in time to save you. I'm sorry. 这根本不关你的事，何必苛责自己 ？My head is hurting, and I'm feeling dizzy. It almost feels like I'm dying again. Yi Guan lets out a sigh, then lifts my lowered head. He takes his sleeve and gently dries my tears. Under his calm and quiet gaze, I slowly regain my composure. Composure. Yi Guan. 冷静些了吗？我需要你听我说话。哒哒哒。当年，早在秋季前，我阿娘已通过卦象，卜知诸神之事凶多吉少。你我早知龙神是邪魔外道，一旦他吸取了足够多的鸡无魂力而邪法大成，世上就难逢敌手。借势覆灭的，又何止你我两族？ This man. This man has my heart. 我爹娘族人，始至诸神，为的是心中大义。哪怕最后劫数难逃，仍是我们的抉择。Baby, it does feel a little bit awkward if I go for him since he looks like me. I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> I think I might still go for him though. 正如。你们因为自己的抉择付出了代价。Dang. I gaze into Yi Guang's clear, bright eyes, and amazed, and am amazed at how they hold no trace of deception. 我还活着，你也一样。Oh, it's okay if you don't go for him. I'm gonna. <laughs> no, no, no. Mm -mm. I don't know. I I want to go for it since I like. The three so far. I'm just gonna go for whichever one feels like it flows with the story better. So like at first, Chen Feng was kind of kind of there, and I kind of liked him. And then、um, Gao Jiang was kind of going with the story. I'm like, yeah, I could see the story unraveling and us going for him. You know, King King, we kings going for each other. And now that our old childhood friend, who has given us basically a promise ring and everything, has come back, I'm kind of like, maybe I should go for him because that feels like it fits the story better. Unless he does something. I'm watching you. I kiss your I kiss your cheekies, and I'm watching you closely, very closely. I don't hate anyone. I wonder if it's slowly showing you the options and such before having you go for a route. Maybe, maybe I don't know. I'm speechless, but I know that everything he has said was from his heart. Xie Yiguang has always been a generous and broad-minded person. Or Xie Xie Yiguang, I forget that. Uh, S H I is like Xie. It's hard. <laughs> Remembering these is so difficult. <laughs> my torrid emotions finally calm down as I sob and rub my nose. I eye Yi Guang's sleeve with embarrassment. It is now messy with my snot and tears. Yi Guang waves his hands in an act of casual dismissal. I thought you were going to cut the cord. Ah, you jerk! You jerk! What a dumb thing to say. I start to laugh, and Yi Guang joins in the laughter. <laughs> With everything that happened that day at the Sword Pond, how did you manage to escape? Ah, Niang, sin ruan, 舍不得我一同陪葬，暗中托付族中的一位大佬，万一不测，便施法使我假死，并带离吴国。My heart. 后来，我们隐姓埋名，辗转到了此地。就有了你今日所见的西施，西施，西施，西施。Just gonna repeat it, 西施。So I see. 
大致情况我已听勾践说了。想不到，来求医的原来是你和越王了。I mean, I thought you already knew. 几天前，一个旧病人来信，请我为他的朋友治怪病。我早知这人出身不低，却没想到，他口中的朋友就是你。<笑>直到感应到鱼鱼靠近。That's why the jade fish amulet never really like changed or anything, because he was still alive, which means its master was still around. So of course, its only objective was to continue on with its last order. <gasps> Baby, ah,、uh, your old patient should, or your old patient should be a, rel a relative of Guo Jiang. So you rushed to the swamp because of the jade fish amulet. Relative, your own patient.、Uh, I don't know. Yu Yu, 几乎算我的分身。感应到他在附近时，我还吃了一惊呢。Dang. Dang. Dot dot dot. Dang. Five years ago, when you gave me this amulet. Did you know what was going to happen? 有隐约的预感，但未卜先知如我阿娘，又如何呢？这世间人做事啊，许多时看的，都不只是后果。This baby, this baby, this one. These these are one of the moments when I wish I had a live 2D model so you could see my mouth just going up and down, opening and closing, just. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Oh, I was going crazy. Give me a sec. Yes, just mouthing the word "baby" forever. <laughs> okay.、Oh, the dogs continue to go off. Okay. Hopefully, they'll calm down. Excuse me. <clears throat> That is true. It never stopped my. Oh my goodness! It never stopped my father nor I from trying to break the sacred vow. Not even when we knew that it would be as difficult as becoming a god. 昨日之事不可留，昨日之忧不可思。Every day, every day means every day. <laughs> you really don't care about what happened. Yi Guang smiles as he turns to look at the earthen mounds beneath the tree. 去年，那位大佬辞世了。我把他葬到我爹娘的衣冠冢旁边。得闲时。来与他们话话家常，仅此而已。This boy, this poor boy. 斯人已逝，与人世间切断了联系。活着的人，又何必强留住那些爱恨往事，用来束缚自己的人生呢 ？So young yet so smart. Uh. Give me a moment. I gaze at the two mounds of dirt as the river continues to flow endlessly next to me. It seems like I'm the only one holding on to all the hatred and suffering. While I don't want to be tied down by any destiny, I cannot escape its chains. If only there were more easygoing people like you in this world. Xi Zi, not good. Oh, what's up? Ah, Zhong Sao. 放着小妹和简的屋子在这呢。Oh, that's not good. 知道了。Oh, oops. 
That didn't sound good. When we reach the courtyard, we can hear a strange, bestial sound coming from the wooden hut that Xiaojiang was in. Some of the roof thatching on it has even fallen off. As I take out the keys, Yi Guang waves his hand, and the door opens with a whoosh. His serious face, fan self, yeah. <laughs> oh dang, there's a lot of... a lot of smoke. The once tranquil light in the hut has now turned bizarre. A thick fog, fog escapes the room and engulfs me, making me feel nauseous and dizzy. The once motionless Xiao Zheng starts to struggle as the dagger inches closer to stabbing her in the heart. Oh no! Yi Guang reaches for the silver string, and immediately, blood pours out from his fingers, dyeing the silver string red. Oh dang. As the spell falls from his lips, the silver strings start to glow a pale green. In an instant, the, c the thick fog and the bestial sound stops as everything t returns to the peaceful state that it had once begun. Ben, that sentence was horrendous to say. Yi Guang enters the hut and nods his head at me. That's good, that's good. Whew. Just now, is that normal? No. Very smart, very smart. He is a smart man. Unless her spirit is evil. <gasps> dun dun dun. Yi Guang holds the dagger gingerly as he becomes lost in his thoughts. Unless it is the work of the dagger? I too was nearly harmed by its evil aura. Huh? <gasps> it's a sacred artifact! S sacred artifact. Half? I'm speechless. To think of my endless search for such a strong artifact, and it was right in front of me this whole time. We were always under the impression that the dagger was the medium of the curse. But if she's not under the curse of this dagger, why hasn't she woken up? Interesting, interesting. A human sacrificial array? Dang。如果没有那把神剑护体，少将走在众咒时就会被夺走生魂了。So that's why the followers did not kill her. No. Even if they had tried, they might not have succeeded. Huh. Then, the amulet protected me from an evil aura. If this dagger is so powerful, why doesn't it help Xiaojiang? Maybe. From what... From what Zheng Dan told me, it takes three lives. This is really strange. The followers must have known their must have known her real identity if they were after Xiao Jiang specifically. But why are they still chasing after her even after getting what they wanted? And why are they still using human sacrificial array? <laughs> I mean, she is the princess. With that said, was Xiao Jiang's disappearance on Tiger Hero Hill really a coincidence? The more we dig into this matter, the more confusing it gets. It looks like we have to wait until Xiao Jiang wakes up to understand this better. So, is there anything we can do to save her from their array? <laughs> Just 
，就能靠自己的巫力破阵了。Her own magic. You don't know Xiao Jiang is a woman, huh? Her skill is good. I did not. I did not know this. After learning that the dagger was a sacred, sacred artifact, I didn't think there would be a piece of more shocking news. Yi Guang sighs and presses his index finger on Xiao Jiang's forehead. A white light emits from where he is pressing as the silver strings shimmer all around us. It is then that I realize that Xiao Jiang doesn't look as white, withered as before. She now looks like she has simply fallen asleep. Her rosy cheeks stand out against her dark hair and fair complexion. Although she is still a little childlike, she is quite the beauty. She is beautiful, a powerful mage, and the favorite princess of the King of Shi. I was really a man. I would be happy to obtain such a treasure. 我渡给了少将一些巫力，但杯水车薪。治本之法，仍要他本人以神魂破阵。不过，刚刚似乎是有外力催动了他体内的血气阵，才出了那番异变。嗯。哎 ，Yeah， you know it. Could it have been the Dragon God's followers? What you find? What you find? Yu Guang must have felt that something was wrong as he wears a stern expression. What's the matter? <gasps> I don't understand what has happened, but I chase after him as he flies out of the door. We run back to the bank of the river. There are already quite a few villagers gathered here as they point at the opposite bank. The children run around underfoot as they join in on the fun. Following the gaze of the others, I look to the opposite bank. Oh no, it's them! Yep, they found us. Yi Guang, we need to get everyone to safety. But they're also mages. We need to be careful. Saying that, he points to a softly glowing string that runs along the bank of the river. Is that the protective spell? 对，我和大佬当初为防有邪物闯进村中，合力布下了守护阵。那天救回你们后，我猜信徒还会再来，便特意针对他们惯用的巫法加固了阵法。Oh, because we do know our enemies. They have a lot of people. Are you sure about this? 守阵常年被地脉灵力滋养，无碍。就算没有守阵，我也不把他们放在眼里。Okay, I'll trust you. Dot dot dot. Geniuses are all so proud. <laughs> Nothing. That was too funny. The leader of the followers takes a step forward and points at me. Is he picking me out for a demonstration? What's he holding? I walk close to the riverbank with caution. He lifts a pale green jade amulet that is made even more eye-catching by the follower's black attire in the background. That is Chen Feng's amulet. No. No. With an, with an exaggerated wave of his hand, swords of water magically rise up from the river and fly towards the enemy. The leader of the group gives a sinister sneer as a sudden puff of smoke seems to swallow them where they stand. No. No, they have him. I was wondering where he was this whole time. The spectators give a gasp of surprise. The water swords turn back into water after passing through the smoke. Once that smoke dissipates, or dissipated. There was no trace of the men in black. Yi Guang, give me back my sword. Chen Feng and I were on the boat when we were attacked and got separated. He must have been captured by those villains. Yeah, 
Oh, it would be. It would be more effective to use the actual captive, but... What if they already killed him, though, too? Oh, I know. But you cannot expect me to do nothing, can you? I didn't mean it that way. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait. Yi Guang looks at me sternly. I feel guilty, like a difficult patient who has now followed her doctor's orders. Who has not followed her doctor's orders. Dot, dot, dot. Fine. You have a point. I will stay here in the village. We love and hate a man with reason. Yep, we do. Fine. Dang. Oh, oops, I didn't mean to. No, oh, that was not a performance. The rest of the villagers are none the wiser as they laugh and chat about what happened just now. I am the only one who is worried. Yi Guan waves at us. He taps his foot lightly on the water and sails gracefully across the river to the other side. Dang. I hope they don't have him. I hope they don't have Cheng Feng. Inside the hut, I anxiously walk in circles until my head starts to hurt and I begin to feel dizzy. The waning moonlight is faint and the flickering candlelight irritates me. I've been listening to the silence of the courtyard since sundown. Mrs. Shung left after watching the washing the utensils. There are no masters or servants in this village, so she only comes to help when she is free. It's getting late now, and yet there was no sign of Yu Guang. Something is not quite right. Oh jeez, that spooked me. <laughs> that sound. Could it be Xiao Jiang? I quickly take out the key, only to find that there is no lock on the door. An ominous red glow can be seen coming through a large crack in it. Looking through the crack, I see the dagger swing right above Xiao Jiang's chest. The swift of its blade seems to be lowering bit by bit. Were they trying to lure Yi Guang just now by the riverbank? Oh jeez, I'm s No, there's no time to waste. I cannot let that blade hurt Xiao Jiang. Oh dang, what's happening? Oh, no thank you. Eerie laughter. That sounded... That sounded creepy as all heck. Like... <laughs> no thank you. No thank you. A peal of eerie laughter resounds throughout the hut. The gems on the carved animal hilt of the dagger look alive and like real eyes. They seem to roll as they look right at me. Eerie, you mean demonic? Yeah. Yeah. No, thank you. It's you again. <laughs> Uh, the fact that he goes, like, between ear to ear is, like, ugh, creepy. Get lost! <laughs> what? The red light coming from the room is getting more and more intense. The gems that are like eyes melt under the red light and drip down the dagger like blood. Oh dang, it's all inverted. Oh, that's creepy. The blood-like liquid drips onto Xiao Jiang's body and turns into flames. Oh no, that's not good. The beautiful mage, the sacred dagger, dagger, the hut, everything is going up in flames. 
Hey, Sakura, how's it going? I'm doing good. A little bit in pain, but I'm good. Dot, dot, dot. How are you? Mm hmm. You okay? Yeah. The chilly night wind makes me shiver as I stare at the hut in front of me. Its doors are locked, and nothing seems out of place. Yeah, it's okay. I'm okay. I took some meds. <laughs> I slap myself. I seem to be awake. Smack. <laughs> Was that just a dream? Just now. Worried, I take the keys hanging at my hip and go into the hut to see Xiao Zheng. What? The dagger that is pointing at her chest suddenly burst into flames. It was not a dream. It was not a dream. Abort. Xiao Zheng and the da dagger start to shake. Xiao Zheng struggles while dangling in midair, then falls to the floor with a loud thud. Her body is now tangled up in the strings like a wooden puppet, and it twists her in the most unnatural ways. The strings cut into her soft white flesh, making her bleed. She whimpers as she struggles. No way. If this continues, Xiao Zheng will die. Xiao... Xiao Zheng... I'm coming. Don't move. Trying to endure the pain from the sacred seal, I start to pull on the intertwining silver strings with my bare hands. Every one of them cuts deep into my palms like a knife, until my hands are in shreds. I need to cut the strings. I watch the dagger hanging in front of me as it starts to quiver and emit a cold light. If you really, or if you are really, a sacred artifact that is meant to protect her, then let me use you to save her. I must save her before I collapse from the pain. Yeah. Oh, dang. Oh, I see those. Oh, that's a lot of dead bodies. Dot, dot, dot. That's a lot of dead bodies. That's even more dead bodies. No, thank you. Dot, dot, dot. Where am I? Where are we indeed? Chapter 5. Oh! And that is the end. For this. For this one. For this stream. Let's save real quick. Yes. Jeez, so many dead bodies. Yeah, that's a lot of dead bodies. And that's a lot of de details in those dead bodies. Let the, Oh my godness. Let the bodies hit the floor. Jeez, I'm... S let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> Ah, uh, Jesus! Such a cliffhanger. Such a cliffhanger. Let me get this back to full screen. There we go. So, ooh. something happened. What happened? It just went black. L let's let's stop on here then. Ah! Uh, so we found our old time friend. We found him, and we are most likely going to go for him. <laughs> There's too many handsome men in this. Too many. Oh, man. Such a cliffhanger. But I have to let you all go, for I have stuff to do. <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming. I love you all. Look forward to tomorrow's art stream where we get to work on work on the good fox boy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can't wait. <laughs> Thank you all so much for coming. And bye bye